Today we're going to be checking out the Logitech Ergo M575 mouse. Now this mouse is in the Ergo lineup and Logitech makes a few different ergo or ergonomic types of mice. They have like the vertical mice where it moves around on your desk and it doesn't have a trackball. And then they also have these type of mice where they don't move around on your desk and your thumb pretty much does all the work with the trackball. And with that being said, let's kick things off by checking out what was included in the box. So the mouse does come in a cardboard box and it has the Logitech brand colors all over it. And if we actually open the box, what you're gonna get is the mouse, of course, a USB-A wireless dongle receiver. So you can plug this mouse with USB or Bluetooth. And last but not least, a quick start guide that will show you some of the basic features on how to use the mouse. Now, if you look at this mouse here, you can see that we have it in this off-white color, which is what Logitech calls it on their website. And they also have a different color called the graphite color, and that's gonna be more of a dark themed color mouse. So now let's get into the design as well as the build quality of the mouse. So overall, this mouse is constructed fairly well with its fully plastic built and this doesn't feel like cheap plastic this feels like it's fairly durable plastic it definitely can take a beating if you accidentally drop it or if you're traveling with it now the mouse is made fully plastic on the outside and the scroll wheel is not made of plastic it's made of a grippy rubberized material now the trackball on the other hand this thing is not made of plastic i'm actually not sure what the trackball is made of but it is coated in a very slippery shiny material i don't know how to explain it or what it is but it definitely has like a lot of slipperiness to it which is going to be uh great because you can easily you know kind of just spin this thing and it can easily get a lot of distance on your screen or you can you know you move it slightly and it's going to give you a more of a precision kind of uh, traveling experience with the cursor on your desktop if we look on the bottom of the mouse you're going to see that there are a bunch of rubber grips on the bottom which is going to be great because this mouse is meant to be stationary and that's really going to help with the mouse from moving around on your desk and i also want to add that this mouse is fairly heavy which is also great because you really don't want this thing moving around on your desk or wherever you are because you want it to be as stationary as possible that way it's not being going to be uncomfortable to kind of use your thumb while the mouse is moving around so glad logitech made this thing extra heavy now the comfort of this mouse is quite great because of its ergonomic design the way you put your hand on it is pretty simple it's more of a palm grip style where you lay your palm on there and your hand comfortably fits all throughout the top of the mouse now actually getting used to this mouse was a pretty nice experience because as soon as I started using this mouse, it felt a little strange at first, but after about one hour of using this mouse on my computer, I felt like I was getting used to it and it was pretty easy and pretty like intuitive to actually use this mouse. Now this mouse is primarily made for people with disabilities or people maybe with carpal tunnel, or maybe if you're someone who has a hard time using a regular mouse because your hand gets tired or starts to hurt, whatever the reason, this mouse is designed with ergonomics in mind. Now, I found that there were a few places this mouse works best at, and the first one is obviously your desk. It's gonna be nice where you just have your keyboard here and your mouse, and it's gonna be a pretty solid setup with the ergonomic mouse. The second place I found it was pretty convenient is on the armrest of your chair. So instead of putting it on your desk, you simply put it on your armrest, and that's gonna be a pretty unique layout because if you have like some hand issues where you have a hard time stretching your hand, I found that like keeping it back while your keyboard up here was up here, that was pretty comfortable surprisingly to me. The next place I found that this mouse was really comfortable to use was on the couch. Now, this is gonna be nice because if your computer is connected to your entertainment system, it's really annoying sometimes to run back to your desk or go to your computer and actually use a mouse to do something. 
and I found that this mouse was really nice because you can just leave this mouse on the couch and you don't need a mouse pad and you can comfortably use the mouse and control whatever's on the living room big screen TV. Now the last place I found this mouse to be comfortable to use was pretty much anywhere that is against your body or on your body. So you can like lean it against your chest or maybe put it on your lap and it's still gonna be comfortable because the mouse doesn't require you to have a mouse pad. And the reason I bring this one up is because some people have disabilities, maybe they have like shorter arms or maybe you have a broken arm and you have a cast and your hand is kind of forced to be like this all the time. And if you have a cast, you can easily use this mouse like against your chest while this arm is broken and this arm here is typing on the keyboard. It's kind of a weird use case scenario, but surprisingly when I hold the mouse against my chest, it feels very organic to actually use it. And I was using it on my computer and it, it felt natural to me. Like I was able to click on icons properly and just navigate around easily without like feeling confused or anything like that. Now keeping this mouse against your body or chest isn't recommended because this thing does produce a lot of radio waves and those may not be healthy for your body. So if you can, I would recommend simply using it on a desk or just an interesting location like your couch. But if you absolutely must use this thing against your body or on your lap or something like that, it is totally possible and doable and it's not gonna be uncomfortable. Now the clicking experience with this mouse is quite comfortable and I had no complaints. So here's a sound test for y'all to hear what the mouse sounds like. So here's right click, left click, scroll wheel, um, mouse trackball, and then these two buttons that are programmable. The mouse does have these two additional buttons on the top next to the left clicker and by default what it's going to do is be a back button and a forward button. Typically most mice have those on the side but this one here has them on top and if you don't want them to be back or forward you can install the Logitech option software and program these buttons to do whatever you want. Maybe you want to open specific applications or maybe you want to adjust the volume with them, whatever you want to do, you can do it with the Logitech option software. So pros and cons with this mouse. So some good things about this mouse, you can pretty much use this thing anywhere against yourself, on your lap, maybe on the couch, wherever you are, this mouse is going to be totally usable without it being confusing and it's going to feel natural. Now in terms of bad things, I really had no complaints and I just think this is a solid mouse to get if you're someone who needs an ergonomic mouse. Now if the trackball isn't for you but you're still looking for an ergonomic mouse, I would check out the Logitech vertical mouse which I did a comparison video on between the Anchor and the Logitech. I'm going to leave that video down in the description below. And if you do want to purchase this mouse, I'm going to leave a link pointing to Amazon on where you can buy it. And with all that being said, if you want to stay in the loop on what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you up to date. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you in the next one.